So uh, lastly, he requested something else other than balancing characters. They didn't really have anything to do with balancing characters, and that was um, how to change the face sprite. Now, this can be a little bit complicated depending on the character you want to change, just because characters are made a little differently. But if you click this button up here, it's uh, okay. You see, there's definitions and then there's sprites. This is sprites right here, and then you can look through and you can look through and you. Uh, I'm repeating myself. You can look through this uh, menu here or this scroll bar, and you can look through all of his sprites, which um, I'm going to guess, since it wasn't at the beginning, his face sprite is at the end, right here. It's the very last sprite. Some people has it as their first or second sprite. Some people has it as their last sprite. Now, this is the game portrait. This is the... Uh, I'm not quite sure where he keeps the uh, actual icon that's on the main menu. Um, so I'm just going to show how to do the game portrait, since I've already found it to save time. So uh, the picture, if you look down here, it says image size 120 by 140 pixels. So that's relatively the size you're going to want to replace the image with. So if we go to, um, let's just go on the internet and find a good picture. I'm going to pause and I'm going to come back when I find. A... All right, so here's a Lionel picture I found. That, that seems relatively cool. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image. And save it to my pictures as our, whoops, save it to pictures as Lionel. Just save it like that. All right, so uh, that's saved. And then just go ahead and close that. And let's close the internet. Then let's go to paint. And open up that picture we just downloaded. Now, I'm, I'm doing this on a Windows 7 computer, which allows me to do things a little bit easier than on some other com computers, but um, resizing is still not too big of an issue. Um, so you want to look back on Fad Factory and look at the image size of this picture. It's 120 by 140. So what you want to do is you want to, uh, if you're on Windows 7, click the resize button right here, go to pixels, uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Now let's go ahead and look at that one more time. 120 by 140. So let's go ahead. 120, 140. Hit OK. And we have our picture. Now don't save. Hit save as. Save it as a BMP. Lino.bmp. There we go. Let's go here. And this is where you want to do it. So yeah, this icon right here, it's the uh, palette icon. It looks like a little... Um, paint palette for like art and stuff yeah you want to click this one and then click on this red open folder right over here you want to click it and then um, find your picture which whoop, go back 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 all right um, you want to where it says files of type it's looking for a PCX change it to beep MP then use the, and then find the picture you want put it in click this little blue computer screen icon here and that will fill in all these colors. Then click Save Image. Make sure it is PCX this time. Type in the name of the image and save it. You want to keep it as a PCX bit image. Do not forget to map out the colors first to press this icon because otherwise it will come out either like all black or blank or something. Um, so you want to make sure it has all the colors in there. Then close that. Then you want to click one of these icons. Um, ah, right here. The second icon is a folder and it says change. You want to click this one and find that PCX picture and put it in, in its place. Then you want to click save. No, sorry. You want to click the second save button, the fourth button on the menu. That saves, it saves the SFF. So to hit that button, and then leave. And finally, for the last time for this video, let's test it. And now Lino has this different portrait picture. That should work for just about any uh, picture you want for the face icon or the, or the portrait. Um, you can do this with sprites, but it's a little bit more complicated. You might want to look elsewhere for uh, how to do that. 
It's not too complicated, but it's a little more complicated than changing an icon. Anyway, this has been Aura Crimson, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, Mega Monster Cookies, and anyone else who might be curious about this. So, um, that's about all I have to show for now. Um, Lino still doesn't do so good. Like I said, it's harder to push a character forward. If the AI is bad, the character's not going to do well, unless we make it so powerful where it ends up one-shotting things. And we don't necessarily want that either. So... The best th way to do that is to look up on the internet for maybe an AI patch. Unfortunately, not all characters have AI patches, and I could not find one for Lionel. Well, that would be that's that for now. So um, this has been Aura Crimson signing off. Thank you guys for watching.